So we've got our insert and update query taken care of. Let's go ahead and uh, I said we were going to go onto the form, but uh, I was a little wrong. So let's go into uh, our setup.php and we have our if is set opened opened equals data page blah blah blah. Let's go ahead and we're going to put this into our queries.php. So let's copy this whole line, actually cut it, and save, and let's go over to queries.php. And uh, we're going to load this right after this if is set. So after this last curly bracket on line 40, let's go ahead and paste that. Now let's scroll down. And after our last curly bracket for the users, let's go ahead and paste that again. But we're going to change this to data underscore user. And we can keep this as get ID. Now we're able to use this opened array. And now we can go into our form. So let's go to users.php. And let's take a look at our form. And uh, actually, let's hop over to admin really quick. And uh, we can reuse this. Let's go ahead and take title, slug, and label. And let's use that for first, last, password. And uh, that's it. Actually, we'll go ahead and use this user dropdown for status. So we can definitely reuse some of this. So with the, uh, the title input here, let's go ahead and make a copy of this. Paste it below. And we're going to use this for first and last. So we'll change this first one to first. And remember we need to change a few things here. For name, we need to make sure this matches what we run in our query. So first ID, that's going to be first. Open needs to be first. And placeholder, first name. And actually, for the label up here, let's call that first name as well. And make sure four is first. Now let's come down here to the second one, change this to last name, change the four to last, name is going to be last, ID is going to be last, opened is going to be last, and see why, why using uh, consistent uh, naming conventions is kind of nice. We don't need to go through and change anything really. It kind of... Uh, makes things easy to reuse. Um, so let's go ahead and change the placeholder to last name. And there we go, we have those two done. Now for this next one here, we have a drop-down box for users. Um, since we're creating users here, we obviously don't need this drop-down box for users. However, we can go ahead and use this for our status if we wanted to. So let's do that. Let's change this to status. Change the four to status. Name is status. ID is status. Now we're going to get rid of this here, but don't do it yet. Let's go ahead and just, uh, we're going to hard code in some options here. So for value is zero, we're going to do inactive. Go ahead and copy this, paste it below. Value is one. Change this to active. Now, unlike the users dropdown that we created, we don't need to have anything selected by default when we're adding a new user. We'll just go ahead and keep it at inactive. 
so we don't need this else statement and that'll make it a little cleaner we can do this all in line so in the uh, first option here let's do some PHP tags and uh, let's go ahead and copy some of this so or really just cut it so let's take this first part of the if cut that out so if is set get ID we want to run selected. Cut that out. And then close it with a curly bracket. And that's good. So let's go ahead and now we can get rid of all this PHP down here. Because we got the pieces that we wanted. Now we just need to change a couple things here. For opened, let's change that to status, because that's what we're checking against. And instead of putting this array here, let's just hard code in the value 0. So if the user who was selected, so if the user who's opened is inactive, it'll go ahead and select the inactive. Now we can copy this whole chunk of PHP here, and paste it into the second option, and we'll just change selected the uh, first value to 1 and there you go so let's save that now the only thing we have left is the password so let's go ahead and change slug to password make sure we get all the uh, spots here However, for value, we want to take that out. So we don't want to paste the uh, person's password in here. And uh, for placeholder, do password. Now, we're going to want to run a check on this to make sure we verify the password, but we'll do that later. For now, let's just go ahead and make sure we get uh, all the pieces and parts to our form, which we have. So let's go ahead and remove these other three here, label, header, and body, because we don't need those. Let's go ahead and save that. Hop over to our page, click on users. There you go, and let's load one. And we've got all the pieces that we need. Now, do not do anything, though. Do not click save, because right now, if you click save, it's going to set your password to nothing. 